I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get y'all on full screen right now, ready, ready for my rants. Okay. Here's the thing about automation. It could have solved a lot of problems for us ages ago, right? Right now, we are producing way more than we need of everything on like a global scale, right? I mean, most of that is being produced in like certain areas. We produce enough food to feed everyone, like a couple times over, right? We have enough food to feed the hungry. We have enough empty houses to house the homeless, right? We have the productive capabilities of everything that we need. We have way more clothes than we know what to do with. Like, I want to say 10% of clothes, newly made clothes, don't ever make it to store shelves. They just get thrown away immediately because they produce too much. And if they produce too much, then profits go down, right? And that's, that's what the system is designed for, profits, right? So when I think of automation, I don't think that our life is going to get better because we don't live in a system that prioritizes our lives getting better. We live in a system that prioritizes profit, right? And that profit is going to just a handful of people. It really doesn't have to be that way. We really don't have to be on a societal level fighting for money. The whole point of money is to funnel power into the hands of people who can accumulate more power, right? Money can buy power. It, it clearly does in America where corporations are lobbying and getting anything that they don't like shut down. And most of what they do like, almost all of what they do like passed through Congress, right? In a system that clearly doesn't care about what the popular people think or what the popular vote think, what most people want. As we see time and time again, most people, regardless of political party, want, for example, marijuana legalized, right? They want guns to be available, but regulated background checks, um, storage, stuff like that. Everybody wants that Republican or Democrat. But we don't vote on a per issue, one person per vote basis. You got to vote for your team and hope that your team creates the laws that you want. So in this sort of system, what is automation going to do for you? Unless you can create these machines to work for you, none of that benefit's going to go to you because none of it is set up to benefit you. So yeah, I, I do believe that automation could be amazing in a utopia, but we got to create that utopia first. In fact, we don't even need more automation than we do now to have utopia because we have everything we need, but it's just restricted with an artificial means like money from the people who need it. And that's how you generate profit. Take something and restrict it. That's the whole point. Instead of lifting the work pressure, they use automation to make more. Yes, exactly, exactly. Any, any way that they can push more pressure onto the people, that greatly benefits. If you have higher unemployment, more people looking for jobs, then suddenly that competition benefits, you know, capitalist business owners. There's gonna be somebody out there willing to work for pennies. But if, if basically everybody has a job now all of a sudden you as a business owner would have to be fighting to get somebody in the door right laying people off it kind of makes it better for all of the business owners come yeah i also think that automation doesn't do a ton uh over the long run right because at least in history with the more automation there's been more jobs have been able to be created on top of that right um, I just don't think that we are currently in a good place to do that unless, unless we start cooperating, right? Start creating workers cooperatives instead of a normal business where a person or a few shareholders own the business and control what everybody does and whether or not everybody else uh, gets to work there. What we would need 
to change all of this that I've been talking about is for people to start their own businesses it's owned by the people who work there. You know, workers cooperatives. There, there are a number of cooperative structures that are all mostly good, in my opinion, like housing cooperatives. Whereas, you know, instead of applying to an apartment complex, applying to a landlord, right? We had, you know, apartment complexes that are owned collectively by the people who live there, right? Structures like these are way more economically viable, right? Well, businesses that are cooperative, like the workers make more money and their stuff is often cheaper, right? And with housing cooperatives, it's usually much cheaper because you're only paying what you need, right? People stay there longer, much more secure. That's the word I'm looking for, secure. Like it all just seems to work out for the better. Right. So if we had businesses that had the same things in mind, right, if the workers were the owners, then suddenly it isn't in us against them. Suddenly it isn't a good thing for the owners to fire everybody off. Right. Because that means you're hurting yourself. Right. It's my opinion that that is like the first step and most important step to changing all this shit that I'm going to be talking about on my YouTube channel. Basically, the violence of the system. That's how you want to call it. Do you have a political term you describe yourself as? There are many things that you could accurately call me. Um, I don't prefer any of them because I think that the terms do a disservice. I just realized your name. <laughs> Keeping it political, left-wing politicians. So, so I guess I'm preaching to the choir to some extent. But no, I'm not for a violent revolution because I don't think it's going to work. I think it's just going to make the state more violent, right? But I think that the people can start their own structures, be it business structures, housing structures. And that is the key to making this shit livable again, to making this shit environmentally friendly right and that's kind of what i want my channel to be right i haven't changed the name of my channel yet but i'm going to change it to social construction co right and that's that's why i saved that tag on youtube and even a couple other places where i may be posting in the future if ever i can get this shit up and running i just don't have enough free time um but yeah that's that's the sort of angle that i want to take my channel like as a play on the word social construction or, or social construct I, I want to get the point across that all of this shit is made up and we can work to change it in a positive way and that we kind of need to because we're kind of destroying the planet <laughs>